Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Back in the land of Papal Italia. I have some fresh coffee, and uh, we have freshly conquered lands. We have Mecca. Fuck yeah, man. Mecca. Nice. Jidda, Medina. Oh, man. Anytime anyone goes on Hajj, they got to go through the Pope. Man, we may, we may not okay that. I oh, know. We'll probably okay it. For a small fee, you know? Make it a theme park. All right, fantastic. We were in the process of sphering Switzerland now that they've dropped from great power status. Kudos to them on becoming a great power. But now that they've dropped, let's go back to getting them in our sphere. Okay, get our alliances back. Very good. Everyone broke our alliances because we were uh, at war and we were very high infamy. But we didn't go over the limit, which is good. Spain declared war on Morocco. Go for it, Spain. You're the best. And, come on, Switzerland. Friendly. Oh, man, we're almost there. Yeah, Germany's trying, but they're so slow. <laughs> they are so slow. I think they stopped. I think they gave up. Oh, okay, so between episodes, I forgot to mention it. Between episodes, we deleted a bunch of factories. Let me turn these off. We deleted some small arms factories because there were too many. We deleted some artillery factories, and we deleted some ammunition factories. And we spent all of our national focus points to imp to uh, influence the industry, uh, right, like right here in Lazio. We're suggesting that the capitalists here build tanks, or airplanes, or automobiles, whatever. Just build stuff. So hopefully we'll see some projects come in for tanks, and airplanes, and stuff like that. Preferably tanks. We already have some airplane factories. No, nope, that's a small arms factory. It's you, you got to be quick because these projects they come in and they get funded instantly. I can't even see some of them; just flicker in and out. I didn't see what that was. Something in Lazio. Steel factory. Man, those, those capitalists—they're amazing. Stanley Jevin, some prestige. Okay, let's take a look at what they built in Lazio. What did you build in Lazio? Tanks? Yes! Northwest England is building tanks! Okay. What did you build in Lazio? Show me everything. You built a glass factory. Nope. No, you didn't. Uh-oh. Germany has joined the war against my buddy Spain. Oh, no! Spain, don't do it! Oh, God damn it, Germany. You must be friendly with them. Damn it, Germany. Why you gotta get involved, man? Oh well. You're building a clipper shipyard. Are you fucking crazy? Clippers are a thing of the past, my friend. Wow, I can't believe you have to police the capitalists this much. This is silly. Oh well. Okay, Switzerland, add to sphere. Nice. Very nice. No one's even bothering them. Uh, people are letting us have Switzerland, which is good. Portugal looks pretty safe. Spain looks, well, other than being uh, invaded by Germany, they look safe. Uh, the Ottomans look pretty safe. Alright, so let's turn off. We'll put Switzerland on one pip. And let's see, who do we want to focus? Probably New Zealand, but we got to wait a couple years for New Zealand. So maybe Austria-Hungary? Australia? Let's try Australia. Let's see if Britain responds. He's going to discredit us, like, right away. We're still losing money. Discredited in Australia. All right, turn that off. Colombia, I don't care. Um, Austria-Hungary? Let's do Austria-Hungary. Cat and Mouse Act. Ooh. Ooh, liberals gain consciousness. No, I don't want liberals. I don't want consciousness. Okay, so what can we do about our economy? I'm surprised it's tanking right now. It shouldn't be. And yet it is. Oh, 
Oh, Canada might... Oh, wow. <laughs> Spain annexed Morocco. But the war is not over because Germany is the war leader. Yeah. So we'll see if they white peace or whatever. But Canada is actually not far behind France. It is not out of the question for Canada to surpass France, and Canada might remain a great power. That would be amazing. What also would be amazing is if we actually had uh, some money. So I'm going to put tariffs up. 15%? percent let just leave them there. I hate to tariff our, our factories. And look, it's not even working. We're still losing money. All right, we'll go with 20%. I hate to tariff our factories, but if if we don't have any money, I think it's important that we get some money. Okay. The problem is we're also subsidizing our factories, so yeah. Oh, is the USA influencing the Ottomans? It looks like, yes, they are. The USA is actually influencing the Ottomans. That's amazing. Oh, and we might actually get Austria-Hungary attend the Olympics. Yeah, we might actually get Austria-Hungary out of Germany's sphere. Uh, it looks like no. Damn it. Nah, they're going to expel us. Oh, we're so close. If he ignores it for a little longer, discredit it. Oh, he discredited us. Perfect. Fine. That was a desperate move. Crisis in Thessalia. That's fine. Okay, so let's back the Ottomans here. Everything should go fine, I think. Okay. Yes! Remove from the sphere of Germany. Fantastic. Uh, and then the next thing is to kiss-kiss Germany. Make sure we're still good on that, on that front. Uh, and yeah, we'll back the Ottomans. No problem. Yes. Let's see who backs Germany. Nobody. Nobody. All right, no crisis. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the USA is actually putting a little bit of points into the Ottomans. Hmm. Spain, everyone's still neutral. Although Britain does have a bit of influence there. Portugal, same thing. Britain's doing a little bit. You know what? If Britain's going to be a douche like that, I guess we could... No, I don't want to go back to Colombia. I kind of want the USA to go for Colombia, but they're not doing it. The USA would have an easy time stealing Colombia from Britain because USA borders them and Britain does not. Hmm. It's a very weird situation. Also, I think if I save and load the game... Let me do that. I think if I save and load the game, then Canada will no longer be written underneath British Canada. Because they're not underneath Britain. They are independent. Yeah, they're nothing. So, uh, let's see if we can load. And let's see if that'll make them um, show at least independent on the map should. Oh man, there's only 15 years left in the game? Oh man, time is flying. So how's it look? Yeah, no longer says British Canada. Now it's just Canada. Fantastic. And this shouldn't say British Canada. It should just say Colombia, but whatever. How are things in New Zealand? Pretty good. They like us. Um, still can't influence them for two years. That's okay. No one else is bothering them, so it should be a straight shot. All right, now we could keep plowing away at Austria-Hungary, but the problem is we are discredited right now. And I'm pretty sure Germany will keep influencing them. Yes, they are. All right, Canada fell down. France is now a great power again. Damn it, France. Canada, how far away are you? He is 21 points away from being a great power. Damn it. Well, doesn't count. Does not count. So let's influence... All right, turn off Austria-Hungary. Let's go for... Hmm... Romania? Romania might be good. Yeah, let's go for Romania. No, because he has a border. Fuck. I, for, I keep forgetting Germany has this little batch of land. He has two counties here. And that gives him a direct border with Romania and, Wal and Wallachia. We could go for Serbia, but I don't really want Serbia in my sphere. And yeah, Russia has put down his communist rebels. I mean, he still has some conquered land that he has to get back. But he pushed them back from his capital. 
And look at this! Scandinavia is invading Russia, and they're winning! Are you shitting me? Scandinavia is winning! Holy balls! I did never expect that. How is Scandinavia winning with 40 military strength versus 752? I have no idea. But they are. But they are. Wow. Okay, let's go fill up Switzerland and put um, Ottomans... We'll just put them all on minimal. As long as we're influencing these guys just a little bit, it'll push other people's influence down, which is great. Oh yeah, France. Who are you friendly and cordial with and all that shit? Uh, he's friendly with Brazil and Greece, and who's this? Where do I live? I live in San Francisco. California, USA. France is cordial with some randomers and friendly with Portugal, Greece, and Brazil. All right, let's kick him out of Portugal. I think that's important. When people drop from great power, they don't lose their relationship with minor nations. So it can be a real problem. They could like instantly remove people from your sphere as soon as they become a great power again if they had that influence, right? Yeah, Japan's sphere is pretty good. He has uh, Yemen, Xinjiang, Qinghai, Oman, Nejd, Mongolia, Manchuria, Luang Prabang, Kokan, Kampuchea, and Burma. He has a pretty big sphere. Mm-hmm. It's easier for him to influence those nations than it is for us because he is in Asia and you get a bonus, not a bonus, you do not suffer a penalty as long as you're on the same continent as the nation you're influencing. If it's a different continent, then you suffer a penalty. So it can be a real problem. Oh shit, um, turn this off. Turn these off. Germany is making a real push at Switzerland and we need to ban him. Oh shit. I can't unpause because of this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Give me 65 points, we'll ban Germany from Switzerland. Yeah, he's just letting us do it too. That's hilarious. What a weird, weird AI. Ooh, union busting. What's this? The rich people get pissed off or... People lose consciousness... But gain militancy. Mm, I'm okay with pissing off the rich people. I really am. Okay. Bye, Germany. You lose 47 influence, and you can't influence them for a whole year. Teehee. 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 Okay, just go balls deep on all this shit. Uh, make sure we have influence that's growing. Britain is actively influencing Portugal, so we might have to ban Britain from Portugal. What a waste. Oh well. Let me tone down Ottomans to one pip. Here we go. <gasps> Troops are recruiting! I think that's tanks. Let me see. Is it tanks? Is it tanks? It is! Tanks are building right now. Woohoo! And we probably should queue up some more. Mm, more tanks? Get me some guard, and then some more tanks. More tanks. Oh, man, I haven't heard that recruiting sound in a while. We finally have tanks. Oh, also, what are we building in... Lazio, cement. I don't think so. I have Focus Automobiles on, and he keeps doing glass, cement. What was the other one? Clippers. He tried to build clippers. Explosives. Jesus Christ, dude. Clippers, again, no! Nobody wants clipper factories. Ammunition, no, I want a tank factory. <laughs> Chairs, no. Great war experience, nice. Okay, what's next? Heavy armament, that's kind of important. Let's see. I think this is more important. We'll do that, and then modern army, and then we'll go to heavy armament. They're all important. They're all important. They came from behind. Okay, let's knock France down. 
to neutral in Portugal. Good. Switzerland's going fine. I think Switzerland can go to one pip. Spain is probably okay, because France has been discredited. I didn't do that. The UK did it. <laughs> Lol. They're both neutral and they're fighting over it. It's hilarious. I think the only real problem place we have is uh, Portugal. But Portugal seems okay. It's stabilized. Okay. Oh god, Germany's still at war with Spain. At least they're not invading. At least they're not over here invading Spain, because that would just be fucking awful. But they're not doing it, which is good. Yes, this game came long before Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 was 2012. I believe this game was 2010. I'm just guessing, but I think those are the dates. Crisis averted. Yeah, I didn't want the crisis to be averted, damn it. We need more crises. Also, how goes our new lands from Ethiopia? Well, so far, so good. Naval firepower, nice. Navy's attack plus one. Go, Navy! Let's start building random forts. Why not? As long as we're making money, I'm willing to build forts. They're not the most important thing ever, but um, at least not in Africa, they're not that important. But we'll still build them. They're not super duper necessary because we rarely... We rarely are in a situation where the African provinces need defense. Like when France... When, when we're at war with Britain and France, we're usually the ones attacking in Africa, not defending. So it's probably okay. But, eh, we'll build them anyway. No reason not to. Especially if we have the money. Which we do. And up here, it's... In Extremely important that we have decent forts to defend uh, against Russia. The ones in Korea are all level 5. Primorie is upgrading, I think, to level 4. No, they're upgrading level 5. Fantastic. Great. Influence. Uh, how are we doing? Spain looks okay. Portugal looks okay. Ottomans look okay. I think we'll put yeah, the Ottomans are down to one pip. I think we're okay. This all looks good. Hopefully France and Germany will fight over some of the uh, small states over here. Belgium and Netherlands. That's right, Netherlands dropped from great power, didn't they? Election time, alright. Come on. What are they called? Liberal... Whatever they are. Liberal conservatives. Because we all know conservatives are liberals, right? Oh, wow. Look at Scandinavia go. They've actually taken Russia's capital. Holy crap. They might push for even more land. Whoa, look at them go. They're at 34%. Amazing. I cannot believe that. The go Scandinavia. This is great. I don't know if you can see it. It's very light blue crisscross, but they are sieging up a whole lot of Russia over here. Uh, at least Eastern Russia. I mean, Western Russia. Eastern Russia is still a mess of rebels. Irving Fisher. Hello, Irving. Wow. If they go this far, they really should be adding more demands. They should add all of their core demands, because they have cores all the way over here to Finland, yeah. So they should demand all of this stuff. But they probably won't. 
when they have this much of an advantage, they really should be pressing for as much land as they can get. But, I don't know, the AI just seems a little silly. Probably won't do it. Jingo, yes. Russia cannot into USSR. They've had two large communist rebellions. Okay, airplanes are finishing good. They've had two large communist rebellions, but they've defeated both of them. The last one, they just barely won the last one. The rebels were actually sieging their capital, but they killed them before the siege finished, which really sucked, because that, that would have been fantastic to see, uh, see Russia spawn, or USSR spawn. Free trade, no way. Oh, Timbuktu can become a state. All right. Welcome, Timbuktu. Fine by me. Yeah, they peaced out for just Nord Nord. Damn it, Scandinavia. You were winning so heavily. You should have taken all of Finland, too. But no, he took peace. Damn it. Sabotage! Uh-oh! Ooh, piss off the rich strata. Yeah, I don't mind pissing off the rich, because there's not been, not many of them. Pissing off the poor, though, that could be dangerous, because there's so many of them. All right, Ottomans, we are good. Portugal is secure. Let's put it down to one pip. Actually, just turn it off. Uh, Spain should be fine. Yeah, turn off all the influence here. Let's see if we can go influence other people. Yeah, Switzerland just turned it off. I think we're okay. Everyone's at neutral with everyone in our sphere. So, who should we go for? Let's see. We could go back to Australia. Yeah, let's go back to Australia. Just force him to discredit us. I think he'll do it real quick. Yep, discredited. That was quick. Next. Colombia, not going to bother. Mm, I would love to get Persia, but it's probably not going to happen because uh, he's currently friendly with Russia. So hopefully friend Russia will be the one over there or uh, Japan. Hopefully one of them will do it. Not going to worry about the USA's sphere. Not going to worry about Russia's sphere. Not going to worry about Japan's sphere. Germany's sphere. Here we go. Belgium, Montenegro, Poland. I would love to get Poland, but the whole border issue makes it difficult. Romania. Yeah, there's like no one good to influence. Who the hell should we influence? My god. Algeria. Let's do Algeria. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that earlier. Yeah. Algeria. Let's do it. You and me, bro. Let's be bros. Bros. Poor Russia. Jingo! Come on, give me a Jingo party. Give me one of the two Jingo parties, please! Ooh, gain prestige, gain losency, or... yeah. Well, the entire country loses consciousness. Yeah, I have to do that. I love losing consciousness. That's awesome. Go for South America? Yeah, we could go for South America. Yeah, all this stuff is feared by the USA. But um, we could go down here. Maybe. Brazil would be nice. Uh, so would Argentina and Chile, but we'll see. Jingo! Come on, Jingo! Please, Jingo! Praise Jingo! Ooh, Karl Marx. Yeah, France and the USA are going to have some scuffles over who gets to sphere Brazil, but they're currently in... Um, oh! Jodhpuri nationalists have spawned. Jodhpur, Jodhpur. Where the fuck is Jodhpur? I honestly don't know. Oh, Indore is independent. There's Jodhpur. Oh, you can tell they're independent because they got their goddamn name. Look at that. Neat. Independence for people and things. So Britain's losing a little bit over here to what? Communists. Yeah, but these communists, the problem with the communists... God, that is one of the major problems in this game is all of these lands are considered British even though they're 
Indian culture, and they have Indian cores and other Indian nation cores. They're all considered British t British lands, so the the big rebels they get, the big stacks, are always British rebels, like British fascists, or in this case, British communists. And those big stacks can kill any of the Indian rebels. The Indian rebels, like the Indian pan-nationalists, it'd be amazing if they could actually spawn with numbers comparable to the British communists, but they don't. They always spawn with really small numbers compared to the British rebels. So the British rebels kill the other rebels, and there's no chance for, like, India to form. And I forgot about this army over here. Uh, what do we want? We want full citizenship. You got it. I didn't click a button. Oh, we got the Socialist Party. Interesting. That means we can do factories again. Yay! But unfortunately, the capitalists cannot do factories, and that really sucks. Alright, what do the people want? The people want... Let's see... Unemployment subsidies. Hmm. Yeah, they want unemployment subsidies. All right, we got it. And yeah, the fucking socialist party. Oh, God damn it! I don't like this one bit because uh, they're anti-military. <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, first things first. Lazio. Nope. Hey, hey, look who's building tanks. Machine parts. I guess I'm okay with machine parts. Tanks. Wine. I don't think I want wine there. Nope. Tanks. How many tank factories do we have? Let me see. We have four. We have the one in Northwest England, which the capitalists did. And then we have the one that I'm doing. Those three. Okay. Let's see, Abu Dhabi does not need tanks. Burgundy does not need dyes, but it needs tanks. Hey, tanks. As long as we have tanks and oil and fuel, I'm a happy man. Tanks, automobiles. Wow, those automobiles are so profitable. Hmm. Liquor and chairs. You know what? Keep the liquor, but make some tanks. Tanks. Timbuktu. Okay. Steel. Nope. Tanks. Alright, that should be enough tanks. And then the rest will just leave to their own devices. Uh, do a shift click for auto upgrades. And unfortunately, our capitalists are going to be utterly useless now, even though we have tons and tons and tons of them. Uh, so we need to turn off all of these focuses. Turn them all off. Turn them all off. Because we're going to go back to focusing on more craftsmen. More people in the factories means more upgrades. More upgrades means better industry score. Um, you know, just general good things. 49% craftsmen. Wow. 31% craftsmen. Wow. 45% craftsmen. Wow. That is a lot of craftsmen. But it's worth it. Craftsmen are amazing. What's a good percentage of craftsmen? Should I just keep going as high as it can go? Or should I make or should I try to make some into clerks? Alright, Algeria. Nice. Cordial. Ninety-nine percent craftsmen. I don't think we can go ninety-nine percent. Pretty sure it'll hit a wall. The numbers will turn red, and they'll say there's no one available to become craftsmen. And you have to change it to some other focus.
Oh my god, look at the income. We're at 12k income. Whoa! More tanks. 12k income. Oh, it's because our tariffs are up. Put the tariffs down. Wow. That is some amazing income. Holy balls. Wow. And once this tech is done, we'll be able to upgrade all of our forts to level, level 6. Which is the highest they go. How high do you go? Waka waka. I see a tank! Oh my god, look at that boxy ass nasty thing in Rome. Let me zoom into my tank. <gasps> look at that, we have Italian tanks! Woohoo! Oh man, we have just won the game. We have Italian tanks. Alright, you guys go to Ferrara. And you guys go to... I don't know. There. Look at those tanks, those boxy ass nasty little things. They are amazing. They have little turrets on top. Oh, they're so cute. They're adorable. Wow. Wow. France is actually getting kind of fresh with Spain, so let's ban him. You little dick. Algeria. Go to friendly. Yeah, Algeria will sphere pretty easily. Oh, Japan is at war with China. Really? Yep, the Ma Conquest of Shaanxi. Ma. Ma Con... What the hell is Ma? King Hai. King Hai is apparently Ma. Really? Yeah. Because it's called the Ma Conquest of Shaanxi. Why are you called Ma? I don't know. But he's going to go for Shaanxi. And that's going to really weaken China. Because Shaanxi is one of their nicer states. It's this state right here. Yeah. Well, tough luck China. Oh, if he's not a great power anymore, that means Canada's back as a great power. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. What a weird world. Uh-oh, Germany's invading Spain? Where? What's going on? Why are you losing war score? Battles. Oh god. Did you send troops up here, Spain? Why is France up here? What the actual fuck? Uh, remove military access? Get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Why is France chilling in Spain? I don't know. Or uh, chilling in Britain. I don't know. Japan has... He wants to cut China down to size. Wow. Japan is taking a lot of infamy just to kind of humiliate China. That seems stupid. Ooh, international crisis in the British United Provinces. Yes! Holy shit, yes! Holy shit, yes! Who is this? I don't know what flag that is. Bundelkind. He wants the United Provinces, which is the richest part of this area. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Come on. Call me in. Put me in, coach. What?! The crisis failed to enlist international interest. It showed that it was going to invite me, and it never invited me. Fucking bug game piece of shit. That's the second time I've seen that, where it says it's going to invite me. It shows my flag on the on the invitee list, and then it doesn't actually send an invite, and it says there's no crisis. Fuck's sake, game. Oh, I wanted that so badly. Like a new pony. God damn it, what I wouldn't give for a new pony. Fuck you, game. Anyway, let's call that an episode. I'm getting too upset right now. I'll see you guys next time. We have tanks! Oh my god, look at that! That is a really nice upgrade for the Pope Mobile. Nice. Bye-bye.